Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday. Probably Alexa time check. Let's see what time. time is. Oh, 818. Bear with me. I can't find my tripod for my phone or my vlogging camera, Sony. I don't know what my girl put it. <laughs> and she's still sleeping. So bear with me. I'm holding my camera. I'm going to try to do this video of the unboxing of my DJI wireless mic. So I'm excited. Uh, just bear with me. Let's see if I can get it on the table here. <clears throat> get everything out of the way. I bought some McDonald's coffee. And man, they have some of the strongest coffee. I can't even drink it. Even with the sweetener, Splenda, it's like, whew, some strong coffee. It messes up my stomach. Into it. DJ Wireless camera. I've already cut it open. But I'm excited. Pretty cool. I spent pretty little penny. It's got the. Uh, this is a, the cheaper one with the one mic is about twelve thousand. This was almost twenty thousand, nineteen thousand something pesos. Bear with me. Got that. I don't know what's in there. And then we got the little rechargeable box. It has the. Oh, it's a. It's fairly got some weight to it, but it's really compact, easy to travel with. I can put that in my shoulder bag, my Lacoste shoulder bag. I can fit it in my pocket. Very cool. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm excited. I've been wanting to get it. My girlfriend's like, no, don't spend that money. I was like, well, you got to spend money to make money. It's a good investment. Because when I'm on my vlog camera and I go out, Go for me to see. I have to hold on to her. Sometimes I'll bump into people. It depends on where I'm at and the, how crowded it is. You just have to be careful. And people don't know your intentions. A lot of people don't know. I can't see really well. And um, so that's like why a lot of times you see her holding the vlogging camera and doing her own little thing with it. And I usually use my either my uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max or the Samsung S21 Ultra, which I love. Uh, 23 Ultra. I think they design flaw, big major design flaw. They have to go back to the drawing board on those phones. But the stylus pen, who needs that? If they want a stylus pen, I buy a note. I guess that's all. Nothing else in there. I would love was watching Casey Neistat. I was watching his little unboxing. I love how he cuts and edits those videos when he's unboxing something. I think it's so cool. <laughs> I love watching him. That's all in the box, guys. Just comes with this. Let's see what's in this white little box. I wish I had someone holding my camera, my tripod, It'd be much easier. Hey guys, I decided to put the camera there just to make sure it's recording, so I don't waste my time. It's probably just a manual or something in here, the mic covers, or a case. Well, oh, nice. <clears throat> nice, pretty nice case, but nice with leather one. This isn't leather. Comes with the oh the audio cables. Has a weird plastic smell to it. And then of course the the wind mic. Little fur cap. One of those should be the charger cord. Of course, everything started with Apple. Everything, Apple decided not to use the adapters. They cut the adapters, charger cords, nothing. Then Samsung followed. Then everyone started following. Then they started doing earphones. Didn't put earphones. I want to buy it separate. That's how they make trillions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars extra from accessories. And it's just really sad. If you buy a phone, should be complete. And they're talking about save the environment. That's a bunch of crap. That comes with these little fur cats or whatever you call them. They call them little cats. The wind mics, which is really cool. You can put over the microphones. That's all it comes with. A charger and a little mic. Probably user manual or stickers. Got an odd smell in here. This comes with a little manual. I can't see it, so it doesn't make a difference. Probably won't be reading it. Probably watch YouTube. That's what I do. I watch YouTube or Google or Alexa. If I need a 
issue we need something done I just listen so that's pretty cool the little baby cats to put on top of the mics an audio jack cable and the charger of course no adapter so I'm going to buy another adapter which is crazy what type is that c-type feels like a c-type yeah c-type which is pretty cool so I'm gonna get another adapter I used to go do I know Samsung has the 25 watt and the 45 watt adapter which is pretty cool or show me I go show me buy an adapter for like one or two two hundred something pesos for 25 watt Wow that's what I like it's got little rubber stand on the bottom so I guess you can stand it up when you're charging it you can lay it down but it, I guess it's meant to stand up it's got these little rubber feet on the bottom you can stand it this way bear with me because I really can't see I didn't preview or do this before don't even know how to open it <laughs> I don't want to break it that's the problem with having bad eyesight I'm going to start doing outtakes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's pause it and I'll figure out how to open it. And I'm hoping this is the right one. Yeah, because that's what I, I was getting worried because sight unseen. I, she sent me the photos and I confirmed to make sure it has two mics, two transceivers. Really cool. I think it's got a light indicator. Yeah, very cool. It's got a light indicator in the front. Just let you know how, if you can see that on the front, just let you know how it charges. It opens like this. That's why it stands up with the legs on the bottom. Sorry, I was trying to open it from the side. Obviously, if it's standing like this, this is how it opens. Very cool, DJI. Very cool. And that's why I bought it, because of the display. You can see it. The display that is on. <laughs> very happy. Very well spent, 20 something thousand. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. I wish, Lord, I could see. Look at that. The little charger indicator. Very cool. This one's the mic one. And just pull it, slips right out. It's like a magnet. Mic two. Very cool. It just slides right back in. Very, very impressed. I think my next investment will be a GoPro or DJI the waterproof mic. Mic. The um, camera. Well, you can see it blinking as far as charging level. Now look at that. I can show you it's a touch screen. You can go through it and just go through it and do your settings the way you want. Pretty cool that hooks on the top of your camera. I think it's adjustable, you can move it the way you want it. I have to have my girlfriend set the settings. You can have it where you set it on one mic or two mics and do different settings with it. So I'm pretty pretty excited, pretty stoked. You gotta figure out how that clips on, but it just clips on, I guess, the front of the camera very cool I'm very excited you can see it just slips right in on the top as so make sure I get it the right way and it just closes very cool very lightweight it's got a little weight to it but it's solid you can tell the battery that's in here and the charger cord somewhere on the side. Just bear with me. I know it's got to be on the side. This is what it's like being legally blind. I don't give up. I move forward every day. Charger's on the back. Just put the charger in here. I don't have an adapter. My adapter for my Samsung is upstairs. You just plug that into the back and hook it in. Charge it. I'm probably going to get it and charge it. So what I usually do is take my cell phone, which I'm recording from now. And I zoom in using the camera 
so I can see the display and uh, so it's really cool and that's how I usually see like a magnifying glass that's what I usually use it's got a little clip on the back as you can see like this I'll do it when I'm off the air and not recording I'll go in and view watch YouTube how it works they got the buttons on the side probably for power or recording I think it was a recording you can push it it's got a big recording time I don't know the recording time you can record like outrageous if you say if you this doesn't record on the um, uh, video and you're doing it say I'm doing a video right now I have my mic on and it's not recording it saves inside the mic so later on you can go and do a voiceover with your mic because the recording will actually save inside the mic which is pretty cool if you press I think it's press one of these buttons I gotta watch the video again and uh, that's why I really liked it I just got to figure it out test it play with it of course the mic got my little pajama shirt on of course I'd use a different shirt but you can just clip it on you like this on your shirt or inside your shirt if you wanted to kind of hide it sorry about my t-shirt it's an old t-shirt got okay okay but you can put it inside just have the little clip outside which is pretty cool so or clip on that clip it on the outside just bear with me if this shirt was like that it would be pretty cool or if you're wearing a button-down shirt it's cool collared shirt and just slip it right inside the button so, you know not even that much noticeable and conspicuously so yeah I'm sorry I'm just woke up my brain's still sleeping yeah I wish I could see all that is written down but I'm excited to start playing with this like I said it's got the two oh, I just broke it and just got it got the two microphones which is really cool it's like a bluetooth like back in the day when i was growing up the bluetooth the earpiece was really popular remember the ones you put in your ear and you would talk and you answer yeah hello and you'd be working <laughs> i used to have a bunch of those it was so cool at the time how technology's changed i remember when i had a pager with air touch <coughs> excuse me when i was in the states and uh i remember i used to have a messaging system be like Excuse me. They would be like, "Oh, so and so is reaching out to you. Please call so and so, Mister." Or they'd be like, "So and so's answering service. You could say, say if your name is Chris or John or Mark's answering service. It's a live person that answers the phone and sends you a message. Call so and so's." And you would stop at the payphone, those dirty payphones, and make a call. Then cell phones came out, and that just ruined the the pager, the beepers, is what they would call them. Be like, "Look at the number. Call this number." You know, mine would have a big display. And be written down, you know, someone told me, meet me here, go over here. So, yeah, I'll figure out how to use this. And when I find my camera, I'll do the other review. And uh, have my girlfriend help me set it up. She's probably mad at me still. So I think it's very cool. And it just slips in like this. The clip goes on the outside. Just slips in. This thing pulls out. I just got to figure out how to clip it to the top of my camera. Usually with the... The mic on my Sony's on the top, so I gotta figure out how that works. Maybe I should have messed around with it before I started doing the video. That's why I was wondering how it works. Clips on my phone. I, I figured there had to be something. Right here, you see in the front has a little thing you pulls out, then just slip it right on top of the camera where the microphone cover. Or you put your little cat on top of the mic on my Sony, slip it on, which is really cool. You put it on the bottom of this, blah, 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 however you do it. And like I said, it'll take me a while to mess with it because of my eyesight. I can't see. I can't see what's written in the paper. I can't see. I can see dark, but I can't really see which way it would go or how it would go. So I'm not going to force it, but it just slips on like that. And I think you can adjust it somehow I just gotta figure it out how it works very cool and you just put it on top of your camera and you can do it like that and see what settings you're on so I'm excited DJI you impressed me I'm glad I got this it was either this or the Rhodes go to I think that's how you say it and they did better reviews on the 
DJI had much better reviews. So that's it. Pretty lightweight, pretty compact. You know, I can put it in my pocket and walk. Put it in my shoulder bag. Put it in my camera bag, definitely. My next little expense I'm going to get is the... Probably get a GoPro. So I can do some... At the lake. The lake. At the pool or the ocean. We're planning on going to Shargal this next month. Or next couple months. And you can see it's pretty cool. <laughs> I give it a 10 out of 10. We just have to test it. My next little video... I'll probably add to this is when we set it up and test it and put the mic on. I just don't know where my camera is. <laughs> I can't find it. It's probably upstairs. Or it's probably one of these drawers. And of course, I guess you just put it in here. If you're traveling, just stick it. I guess. That's where it would go. I would assume it would fit in here. Yeah, it just fits in there like that. This close. It's kind of cheap. Be nice if it had one that zipped, but that's cool. <clears throat> just stick it in your bag, backpack, the other bags protect it. Pretty cool. Like I said, I just dropped the case. I don't recommend it because of the batteries in here, but hey, I love it. Thank you, DJI, and I thank you for the people and the lady at DJI for helping me. And I bought it through GCash. She sent me some photos. I already knew what it looked like. We just had to verify, make sure it was the two mics. And, um, Sent to me through Lala Move, so I'm excited. Very friendly, and I do highly recommend this. I haven't even used it, but I've heard people and seen the videos and the reviews, and I know how good it sounds. And I'll be real excited because I have a nice camera, vlogging camera, but it's hard for me to use. I can't see a computer. It's easier for me to use everything on my cell phone. I, I can record it. I don't. I try to edit it. I can whatever software is on my phone. But it's very hard because it's hard, difficult for me to see. That's even when I type, my speak to text is always messing up. Everyone's like, huh? What are you talking about? Who are you? And some people, some things, it's just words just changes and it makes me look like a total idiot. So I was like, ah, sorry about that, guys. And the Google Speak to Text is really bad. So I'll probably should start using my iPhone. The thing with the iPhone is even though my fonts or my accessibility for my t uh, fonts are bigger, it doesn't work. It's not compatible on Messenger, text messaging, and Viber. The words continue to stay small. So I have to double tap with my three fingers to zoom in to see the writing and it's very difficult it's more user friendly on an Android my Samsung I can just triple tap pinch squeeze in and out it's much easier and uh, but I love iPhone and uh, well, thank you guys for watching this little video sorry it's all long and drawn out I didn't go over <laughs> open it up you're the first one to see it as I opened it and I thank you guys I'm on diet I gotta lose these chins and um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, push that subscribe button to share with your friends and family. And always be safe. And I thank you guys for tuning in always. God bless. Hey guys, just add a little bit to the video. Just set up my headphones. I got my Beats. Earphones that I love. Dr. Dre. It's okay with these little things. I probably should have got them without it, but I like the color. I'm probably going to get the other ones, just the regular ones. But these are cool. But I usually use my, the just basic Samsung earphones. I have the Pro somewhere. I think my girlfriend's got that. I use these, and I love these. Really cool. Really small. Works easy with my Samsung. And she uses the Pro. I think she already took those upstairs. So, which is really cool, but I was going to add to my DJI mic. <clears throat> One thing I did notice in the videos that I touched on, this is cheap. This little drawstring bag, like a little gym bag, cheap gym bag. But in the original um, box, they sent out to the creators and the promoters to promote it for YouTubers and stuff. They had a zip bag. I think that would be so much cooler. That's what I said in the first video. If I had some kind of zip bag, like this, you can just put the stuff in. I got this as a freebie when I bought myself. I got two of them. And um, that's the only kind of cheap thing I'm disappointed. It's got one little s slit in here that divides. You know, it doesn't really protect anything, but it keeps it safe. It just barely fits. It'd be nice if it had some kind of case. You know, 
this is a little bit smaller. And if it was a little bit wider, uh, deeper, it could probably fit the same size, but it's not going to zip up. But one thing I didn't notice, I had to explore. Like I told you before, I did had just opened it. And if I could see, I wasn't legally blind. Then I would know everything that's in here. But when you open, you can see everything is charged. On the left and right, it shows you the status in the middle. And it gives you the battery status fully charged. And you got the four dots in the middle to show you that it's fully charged or what the level of charging is. But one thing I missed, I kept on figuring this is the cold shoe. And I saw some reviews about that. It's got the cold shoe that you clip on your uh, mic and, and you can put the you know touch screen receiver on your camera, but it's a really cheap pass plastic. It feels like when you open it's gonna break. It'd be cool if it was metal. The only thing metal here is the spring. And it's real easy, it's not snug when you put it in here. It comes out really easy. That's the only down thing I've had to this so far. The negative is that little thing F feels so cheaply made. I don't know who they had to manufacture that. But one thing I missed is in the back, which I noticed it has these little magnets. I was like, what is that? Kind of looks like a an adapter that you'd plug into the iPhone. Because I can't see. I don't know what it is. And I was starting to look at some of the reviews. Of the iPhone but it's a magnet and what you could do is just clip it on here I still have my same shirt on from earlier but you can clip it on and it can kind of clip as a magnet so you can put it on the outside and put the magnet on the inside and it just clips on you know bear with me or you can reverse it you know and the only thing I found hard is the the dead cat, a little fur muff, the wind muff that you put on. I can't get it centered. You're supposed to be able to, because I can't see, you're supposed to be able to, let me put this down here so I don't lose it, the little magnet. You're supposed to be able to, where the little mic hole is, move the fur out of the way, and there's a little hole here. And you're supposed to line it up to that hole, push it down, then click, twist it, I spent like 10-15 minutes trying to line up the hole. I can't see that if it what kind of edge it is. That's the only difficult thing I had. And I saw even the professional guy on the YouTube, some of the guys took about 10 seconds to push it down and turn it. So it's difficult for people who can actually see too. So that's the only difficult thing I had doing. But maybe normal people could have a, no problem with that. So that's what one thing I found that was extra with this. And I kind of played around with it. <clears throat> it comes with two of these and one of the cold shoes. But as far as I know, I don't know if they have a replacements for these online or someone makes them. I know I, I have the email and address for the repair center near me in the Philippines. Or, well, not near me, probably about 15, 16 kilometers away. And to gig, VGC. So if that breaks, maybe they can send another one. Who knows? But. I love this thing, but I can't, I don't have a lightning adapter, some kind of adapter for my Samsung or my iPhone to test it. And I have my vlogging camera with me, my Sony, but the problem is, is I, I can't test it. <laughs> I would love to be able to hook it to my phone and test it. Or, uh, if I could see the laptop, I would hook it to the laptop and use it. But that's the problem, because I can't see it to do that. So I'd love to have a testing video for you. DJI, I love this case. I think it's the sweetest investment. I also looked at getting uh, the DJI Action Camera 3 Adventure Package. It's about 25, 26,000 pesos, a little over $500. So it's gonna be expensive. I think electronics are more expensive in the Philippines. And the US is about 400 and something. Uh, I really want something like that. What's really cool is from what I read is the tripod or the selfie stick is invisible. It's like artificial intelligence. The camera, when it shows the tripod or the selfie stick, it 
it erases it. It makes it invisible. You can't see it except for your arm hanging out, which is pretty cool. But the the, the second generation of the DJI uh, action camera has like a, a neck that you can clip it on your neck, which is really cool. This one doesn't have it. I would love to have that to walk around instead of just holding something so I can actually hold my my camera, my vlogging camera in one hand and have my action camera here or some kind of chest mount. I'm sure they sell adapters and um, like that. <clears throat> this is my Sony, which I love. I forgot the model number, but I bought it separate with this tripod or self hand, hand stick or whatever they call it. It's really cool and I can operate it and uh, use it as a small little tripod, which is really cool. You know, and of course I could flip it and adjust it and turn it around, which is really cool. And I love this Sony. But the problem is, like I said, this blade flips back and forth, but I can't see it. <laughs> That's the problem. So I have one more surgery to go. So we pray to God after my one surgery, we'll get rid of the cataracts. The cataracts was caused from the first surgery when they reattached my retina. The cataracts grew, so it's not my fault. Anything I did is because of the surgery, but I have to pay for it. So we'll pray to God that can be fixed. Maybe eyeglasses can help correct the vision because I've always wore eyeglasses, unfortunately, since like sixth grade. So I just wanted to do this quick review and add on the stuff that came into it. Uh, two transmitters, one receiver, and it, uh, I guess they call it a cold shoe, and the two magnet clips, which is really cool. The USB-C, it's got adapters, ports, and like I said, if you don't want to use the box, and these box at home has got the USB-C charger on the back of all three of them. What's really cool, if it's got like five hours of record time, and the receiver's got like five and a half hours, and this can be charged twice, and it's got record time up to 14 hours, I think, of record time. So. If you want to turn the record button on, you have a little vibration and you see the red light go on and off. And you can record it separate. Say you walk out of distance or something gets in the way when you're recording, you'll still have the video. You can just add it on later. But one thing that was kind of confusing for me is when they, on the settings, the guys setting up in stereo, you have your two mics on. And one's on the left channel, one's on the right channel. So if you're wearing your earphones, you could probably only hear me on the left channel, someone else on the right channel if you're doing an interview. And they said they can edit it on the on their laptop when they put the movie or the video together. I can't do that. I mean, I probably could if I could see, I'm sure. Or you can set it in mono and have it set to left, right, or you can it right, left. It doesn't matter. And have it as a, a safety or I think that's what it's called. So that way if one is too loud, it, it'll make the gain lower, uh, like if you're doing an interview. So one won't be louder than the other, and uh, which is really cool. It's kind of confusing. I've never done that. I guess you could play around with it. If I'm able to hook it up to my cell phone or listen to it to my earphones, I'll have to get a lightning port adapter so I can hook it up to my cell phone. Uh, I'm learning all this technology. This is all new to me. Great buy. I recommend it highly. I'm still learning about a lot of this tech, and when I get a new gadget, a uh, new toy, especially electronics, I love it. It makes me so excited. And um, like earphones, I have like four of them. I've given away a couple. One's got stolen, unfortunately. Uh, the Beats is great. I'm going to get Apple's iBuds. I think it's Pro Max or the Max. I want to get that. And. Uh, be set because I got my that's my iPhone 14 Pro Max which I love it's kind of more bulky than the camera that I'm recording on which is a Samsung S21 but this is a good buy but the thing is like I said before you have to use three fingers double tap to zoom in and out the Android triple tap one finger but the problem is is for me my text messages are much smaller and and the same thing with messenger the messages are much smaller even though i increase my font size it it doesn't recognize it in the apps of the fiber the messenger or the text so that's one thing 
and it's more convenient on Android to be able to zoom in and pinch squeeze. I know I'm getting off topic. I'm just messing with this. And but my case, my case was about four thousand. It's well worth it, but it's one of shock cases, but it's kind of bulky. It's, I wish it was more rounded and not so squared. Uh, but I love my Apple. Uh, but the one thing I heard is in China and many places in Asia, they have dual SIM. Legit dual SIM because a lot of people in China don't have electronic SIM or can't get electronic SIM. Here in the Philippines, you do electronic SIM, it's postpaid, not prepaid. And I don't want to be in a contract for two or three years, whatever it might be, having to pay so much per month. Uh, I might check into that, get a smarter globe. I'd rather have smarts where I am, the smart signal is much better. But I'd rather just. I want electronic sim, you can just bill me per month, whatever, you know, or me pay so much a month. Uh, but that's one thing I'm checking into, because I have two sims, I'm having to use two phones, I have my smart sim here, so I rarely use this, I'm always using my Samsung, so I get messages here, I'm like, oh, it's hard for me to read. My latest message was my Asian Eye Center got hacked, their phone got lost or stolen, I don't know what their excuse was. But I've been complaining for a long time that they never answer the phone. They always return my messages with 10 different numbers. And a couple months ago, I got a message saying this is no longer associated with Asian Eye. Message this or email this number. And I called the number and said, that's weird. It's not a postpaid account. Usually a postpaid 0917 number. And uh, I'm like, that's weird. And I, I complained about it. And sure enough, I get a message today saying their phones were hacked or stolen. People's information was taken. I'm like, that's weird. I had told you guys about that. Something odd was happening. They didn't listen to me. And so I don't know what's going on. But it only happened in Alabama. Uh, not in the Rockwell Center. So go figure. So I'm like, did the credit card information get stolen? Hopefully you guys don't save credit card information. I don't know. So I'm like, <laughs> that's why. Anyways, that, that's another thing that's been bother me but if they would do something the only thing I, I talk about the DJI if they would have done um, a different case this is if you need to look this is kind of cheap a little drawstring my anytime fitness bag is about the same thing has a little backpack something to throw cheap but what is deceptive is they gave the uh, youtubers the creators this like something similar to this which zips case <laughs> They had no plans of selling it to the public to save money. Kind of like not putting an adapter with this or any phones. You have to buy it separate. You know, it, it just makes no sense. Come on. Raise the price. Include it in there, you know. I, I just miss buying a phone, having an adapter and earphones. You know, you spend so much on a cell phone. Like my, you pretty much know how much this costs. This is ridiculous. 80-something thousand. 85, 84 thousand. Pay cash, you get 5% discount or... 3% with a card. Still expensive. No adapter, no earphones. So, alright guys, I'll see you the next time. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait.